Intro slides or title slides are very important for your presentation and getting the right intro slide are very crucial for your presentation. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you some very good business slide which can be used as an intro slide or a title slide or an agenda slide. And this is how it works. When I click, it will show you this particular slide where you can see here i have added a building image and then i have added some three options there and similarly i have done something else also where i have just reduced the size and it will work something like this and then i have used some light colors and the last one i have used a white background So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background color to some dark color. For that right mouse click, go to format background, select any dark color which is dark blue I'm selecting. Then go to insert shapes, under basic shapes, select parallelogram, draw the parallelogram from this end to this end and shape outline make it no outline and if you want to bend it you can make it more something like this and then i'm going to insert the picture onto this parallelogram for that select picture or texture fill go to file and i'm going to select the image which i have downloaded from the internet i'll just click open and you can see here this particular image has been inserted and then you can play with the offset left right top whichever you want you can untick this and then for example if you want to move left you can just move left or if you want to move top you can move top like this let me just increase the size further and i would like to bend it more I think this is okay and then I'm going to add a three options here again I'm going to select the parallelogram select this put it here if you want you can make it more something like this that's better and then you can select any gradient color for that I'm going to use the first top I'll be using like maybe this color then i'll use some other colors some good color combination you need to check i'll delete this one and then one last let me just put some blue so let's see whether it looks good or not i think this is not looking good let me just select this one so something like this you can make two or three different colors and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to make as a solid fill with a solid color let me just make it more darker color here and shape outline no outline and for this also shape outline no outline then reduce the size and put it on top of this something like this so this color looks more darker for me let me just reduce the color intensity maybe something like this i think this is good and then i'm going to put the number one here and the text for that go to insert text box just say zero one i'll make it a white color make it bold i'll change the font to century gothic center align and put it here let me just increase the size further and then you can add some detailed text here for that 
I'll add some Latin text equals L-O-R-E-M within brackets 1. I'll delete some text and put it here, font white, reduce the size. Again, Century Gothic and somewhat gray color. So you can see here this particular first option is ready. I'm going to select by using the mouse and press Ctrl G to group it, then Ctrl D to duplicate. This is the second option. Ctrl D, this is the third option. So let me just change it to and three. And again, if you like, you can change the color also for this. For example, let me just select this and I'm going to change this color to some other color, maybe kind of a pink and this one to be kind of a orange some good color combination you can select here on top of this you can add some title here go to insert text add business title here Again, color to be white, century gothic. You can make it bold and increase the size. And again, if you like to add a more uh, detailed text, you can add it. Now, I'm going to ungroup this. Select all, right mouse click and group, say ungroup. And then I'm going to group the the background which is this color and this number one option press ctrl g to group it and then just say format send to back and then i'm going to select this text and this background and ctrl g to group it so likewise i will do for this also this and or first let me just do and this and this ctrl g this and this ctrl g to group it and this background and this one control G now I would like to add the animation so for that uh, go to animations enable the animation pane select this building first and I will just say fly in fly in I will say from left so it will come something like this and if you want double click how much timing very fast or if you want some bounce effect also you can do it so it comes something like this the bounce effect and then at the same time i want the title to be animated though this also should be fly in again fly in i will say from right and this should be with previous so both will come at the same time you can see here both are coming at the same time and then the option should come then again option I'm going to use again fly in but fly in effect this should come from bottom right select this one the last one from bottom right so it will come something like this and then I will select this using the animation painter I will click this one so this also comes from bottom right and this should be with previous a delay of maybe 0.25 seconds let's play so it will come something like this and then again using the animation painter i'll click on this then i'll select this animation painter for the option two and then the background for option three and the text for option three so if i play it will something like this it will show you isn't it a simple slide That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.